Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with another episode of Tales of Vesperia. Alrighty, when we left off, we were, well, we had come back to Kapuatorum after we had chased the bad guys out of, uh, well, Heliord, really, and uh, now we are back here, unsure of what to do. Really, I have no idea. I literally have no idea. But apparently something happened in here. So I might... Nope, can't look into that. Okay, what about this one? Torum Orphanage. Well, I mean... This isn't like uh, the other town. Uh, Skyrim's town. Riften, there we go. That's the reference I was trying to make. Our regular liner, the Stratos, is currently being dismantled and inspected. Sorry, but it's not going anywhere. Are you drunk? Probably drunk. Well, okay. Well, there goes that as an option. Can I go into this? No, I can't. Okay. What do I do? I have no idea. Someone tell me. Something. Anything. Anything of what I'm supposed to be doing. Torum Warehouse. This is the Fortune's Market Stock Warehouse. It's a mess in there. Trust me, you don't want to see it. Well, I'll believe you. For now, I'll believe you. Who are you? Oh, ho, 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 ho. Aren't ships a delight? A ship, a ship allows one to carry so... Allows one to travel so very many places. Carry. Why don't I go with carry? Hmm. Miracles, wonders, all mine. Okay. I can't go into this. Okay. Well, then I have even less idea than when I started. Um. Three and one? The two barrier blastia of this city and Nor Harbor were originally a single blastia. Did you read that in one of your books back in the castle? Yes. Actually, there were three pieces. The last piece sunk in the sea between the two cities. I wonder if you could raise that Blastia, and if you sold it, you could live like a king forever. The Empire would have already done it if they could. Any idiot could come up with that idea. You don't have to be mean about it. Oh yeah, we do. <laughs> yeah, we do. And the Lighthouse Keeper's house is also locked. Okay, so that very much narrows my options to sleep at the inn, I guess? Because that's really all that's available. Unless there's something in here I can do. In the HQ, the Fortune's Market. Looks like... This is Kaufman's room. She might have a fit if we go inside. Can't go either of those doors. So... Mm. I know even less than when I started. Mm. I guess we'll sleep at the inn or something. I don't know. There's no other options I have, really. There's none that I can see. Unless there's someone sitting in one of the rooms. Wait, I already checked these, didn't I? Yeah, I did. Okay, well, so much for that. Okay. Well, it was worth a shot. Um, you know, if I'm doing anything at all, I probably should reorient. There we go. Rita to be in with Judith. Okay, I've kind of made a harem here, but... <laughs> They're all good characters, what can I say? They're all good in their own way, what can I say? Except that's how it be. Okay. 300 gold to stay. Uh, well, I don't foresee any other options, so let's do it. Huh. And I was right. So even the Union can't sit still when it knows a princess of the Empire is out on the loose. Then the Dawn knows that I'm a candidate for the Imperial Throne, too. Probably. Yep. That's why he told me to come keep an eye on you. Well, that's rather succinct. Yep, that's why I'm here. 
So you're here to observe her? That's kind of creepy. Yeah, just a little bit. But then again, Carol, you should be aware of this. This is a lecherous old man. Really? What? Yeah. Is it just me? Yeah. Anyway, here I finally catch up with you, and I wind up sticking my foot in that mess back there. I mean, you do have a habit of doing that. It hasn't been easy for old Raven. And your penchant of switching back and forth between first and third person is mildly aggravating, but... Okay. But why worry so much about Estelle? It's only natural considering the state of things between the Empire and the Union. Yeah, true. Each side right. is trying to feel the other out. The Dawn just wants to keep track of their movements. Ah, that makes more sense. Okay. So, you're all planning on looking for this pharaoh by going to the Sands of Kogor? Yes. Mm hmm Do you know what sort of place a desert is? Um... I do. But why don't you tell us? <laughs> well, it's hot and dry, and they've got a lot of sand there. I mean, you're not wrong, Carol. That's putting it lightly. It's not as easy as all that, though. Yeah, I figured. Our plan is to get to the area together first. And then? Then I guess we'll go around and ask where Pharaoh is. Oh, Estelle, Estelle. Oh, adorable, naive Estelle. I don't even know where to begin commenting on that plan. Yeah. <laughs> That's the same problem I was looking at there, Rita. So it's not just that you don't want to go back to the castle anymore, right? Um, well... She struck something, didn't she? It'd be easier on old Raven if you did, though. I'm just saying. Shut up. No, I'm sorry, but I have to know the truth behind Pharaoh's words. Huh. Well, the Desier continent actually suits me just fine. Okay, so you were complaining earlier about having to follow us around, and now you're saying it's okay? Why is that? I've got to go to Nordopolica for another errand I'm running for the Don. Have to deliver a letter to Bellius. Whoa, that's pretty important. That's the boss of the Colosseum and ruler of Nordopolica, isn't it? Technically speaking, he's called the Duce. The Duce. Okay. Nice catch. Do you know what's written in the letter? Hmm. It's got something to do with those monsters that attacked Dongrist. Mm -hmm. In particular, about that pharaoh chap you all are following. The Don thinks Bellius will know something about that monster. I see. Looks like it just became worth our while to pay this Bellius a visit, too. All right. Right. So if best you don't lead. mind, Raven here will just tag along with you. I mean, I mind a little bit, but okay. That's fine, but you'll have to follow the laws of Brave Vesperia. Got it. It's not like I can go join in your guild, you know? You understand. Oh, yeah. Why can't you join Brave Vesperia? It's against the rules for anybody to be in two guilds at the same time. Ah. Uh... And I guess, technically speaking, you are a member of Altosk. Technically speaking. What do you mean, technically? Yeah, he got that too. So, are we done? I'm gonna go get some rest then. All right. Okay. Lady needs her shed eye. What? What do you think Rita's gonna do? Something crazy. Hmm. What indeed? Does this mean we're on our own until we leave tomorrow? Yeah. We'll all meet down at the harbor then. All righty. Raven earned the old spy title. Parted with everyone. Okay, well. I can check. Ooh, life bottle. Okay, I'll take that. What's the matter, boss? Mmm, I don't know if I like you calling me that. The boss okay. is the boss. What would you have me calling you instead? Just call me 
whatever you called me before. This boss thing seems a little over the top. Oh, okay. It Jesus. makes me feel silly Calm to down. have you calling me that. Makes you feel silly. <sighs> I took some time having to get over it myself, so I get it. <laughs> Don't you think you'll get used to it? Well, you do eventually get used to it. Well, maybe. Well, you know way more about guilds than I do, right? I guess. The boss of a guild has to stand as a role model for everyone else. Yeah. I wonder if I could be that great of a person. Come on, it's not like you're expected to be the best boss ever from the very beginning. You can take it a little at a time. For now, our guild has a job to complete. You're right. First, we need to take Estelle to meet Pharaoh. But do you think we'll be able to meet him? Our guild's job is to figure out a way to meet him. If we can't meet him, we won't get our reward, and people will lose confidence in our abilities. That's all there is to it. Yeah, that's true. I think we may have picked something a little too tough for our first job. <laughs> you don't say. It's more of a challenge that way, and our reward will be that much bigger, too. Well, one would hope. Let's make the best of it. All right. Yeah. Sounds good to me. All right, well, since it's nighttime now, apparently I'm get now given free run of the whole place. We'll run around a little bit. Oh, well, there's Rita. Can I talk to her? Yes, I can. Do you really plan on helping Estelle find that pharaoh whatever? Yeah. Yeah, I guess so. Didn't that thing say that Estelle was an insipid poison or something? Oh, yeah, insipid. Um, isn't that supposed to be, like, tasteless? Classless? Um, I'm not sure how to take that. Yeah, I heard. After something like that, I guess you can't just tell her to forget about the whole thing. But it won't help her if she uses that as an excuse not to deal with the issue of the succession to the throne. True. Yeah, I'm worried that might happen. What are you talking about? That's what is happening. Yeah, maybe. But... You're saying I should take her back to the castle? Yes, that's exactly what I'm saying. It was her decision. We have to let her figure out what she should really do. You realize it might come to blows with this pharaoh guy, right? Hmm, yeah, probably. She won't get to figure out anything at all if she dies. Oh, you're actually starting to care. Interesting. But, I mean, yeah, you also do have a point. She's not gonna die. That's why I'm going with her. Ugh, have it your way, then. I will. You'll probably force yourself to come along with us, because that is as you do. Oh, fine, I'll pick them up, damn it. Always have way too many magic lenses and never use enough of them. And I guess there's a reason for that. Because I don't really need them. Oh, hey, repeat. I said that I will deal with things in my way of doing. But I let Qmore escape that easily. What a shame. I don't know how I could explain this to Flynn. I know, I know. We have Guild's job to deal with rather than Qmore. Yeah, I just can't let him loose. Men of his kind will never learn and will always repeat the same thing forever. Boy, if that ain't a true statement, I don't know what is. I'll have to do something. I left the Empire and formed a guild for this kind of purpose. <coughs> he will get what he deserves. Okay. Well. Guess he's gonna be getting what he deserves then. I wonder. <laughs> Anyone in here now? Nope, just the guard. Just the guard who stand and watch over the door. For reasons I do not understand. Okay. 
where is everyone else? Is the question. Well, there's Raven. That answered that. Uh, I can't believe we have to travel with you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny, though. I mean, I was kind of in the same boat. What? You ain't happy? I mean... Well, I'm not exactly jumping for joy. Yeah, that's exactly what I was going to say. You're too glum. Lighten up. Oh, shut up. Didn't I stand together with you in the face of evil? If that's what you want to call it. That was only because you had to. I still haven't forgotten about what you did at Nor Harbor. You still remember that. Some people just don't know when to give up. You are one to talk. I'm not about to make a list of all your offenses. Saying that I'd rather not have your company on our trip is already more than enough. Don't worry, don't worry. I'll be on my best behavior. You better be. I behaved myself at Cave Mock and Gasparos, didn't I? Yeah, that sure would be nice. What should worry you more is whether or not these old bones will be able to keep up with you youngins for much longer. Well, you plan on sticking with us until Estelle goes back to the castle? The Don ordered me to keep an eye on the girl. I ain't got much choice in the matter. Sounds like a tough job. I wonder if I could hand her over to the Imperial Knights somewhere. No. I can see it in your eyes, old man. You're thinking bad thoughts again. Nah, not at all. Well, you it's really not. too bad that you're going to be traveling with us, but might as well make the best of it. Yeah. What do you mean, really too bad? Hmm. Ah, well, whatever. You know anyway, exactly what I mean. Raven the Great is going back to the inn. Later, boy. Boy. Alrighty. Back to the inn he goes. Question is, where is everyone else? Assuming someone's going to be over here. No. Interesting. Go on the boat. Still no. Damn. Okay, well, let's go up here then. Well, there's Estelle, but... Probably the final person we should be talking to out of everyone involved. Where is Judith, I wonder? That is a good question. Okay. I have yet to see her once, so I have no idea. She's still in the inn, or what? Well, there's Raven. Okay, so she's not here. Already talked with all the guys, so where is Judith? I'm just incorrigible. Are you? Whenever something or someone catches my eye, I forget all about everything else. I mean... I really lose sight of everything I was planning on doing beforehand. At least you're aware of it? Yep, that's about right. I came to my senses after Judith told me. Until now, I've been dragging the rest of you around with me like there's no tomorrow. Yeah, it could be worse. If you yeah. were Empress, one word from you and the entire Empire would run off to do your bidding. Yeah, that'd be a lot worse. Yeah. Hmm. I kind of feel like coming with you was the right choice. Oh, yeah? I've been able to see all sorts of new things. Mm-hmm. I still don't know whether I'm going to take the Imperial Throne, but... There are still so many things left to learn about in this world. And Pharaoh's one of those things? It scares me to think about it, but... I have to know who I am. I have to know what he meant by saying I was the insipid poison of this world. It sounds like you've made up your mind. Yuri? Hmm? 
I might end up trying to order you guys around again. Next time I do that, yell at me, would you? <laughs> sure. It's not the sort of personality trait that's easy to fix by yourself. True. Though there's another guy who's also a tough nut to crack, so I think we'll let him be the one we vent our frustration on. Well, <laughs> I'm going back to the inn. I'll see you. Yeah, you will. Where the hell is Judith? Okay. Well, go running around again. Maybe in here? It's locked. Okay, never mind. Still a mess in here, I'm assuming. Yep. Wait, what? The president just took out a big shipment of items she said were, were headed for Nordopolica. I've got to get this place cleaned up, but I don't want to do it alone. Think you might want to lend a hand? Well, I mean... If you were paying me, maybe. But I seem to be doing that, so... Bugger off, I guess. Okay. Which is something that I should be doing, because I can't seem to find who I'm wanting to talk to. Judith! Judith! Uh, I don't know. I have no idea where she is. Orphanage. It's a locked door. Urgh. Okay, fine. I have no idea where she could have gone. Literally none. Okay, I have no idea how I'm supposed to sleep now, actually. Now I'm thinking about it. Your room is next door, right? Yeah, but... Pretty sure I'm missing... Talking to someone. But I'm not sure where they are. Oh, getting up to some nighttime shenanigans, huh? Let me tag along, too. How about... No. <laughs> Last thing I need is you in my ear. Freaking talking about doing a panty raid. The boss, me. <laughs> Well, he seems to be enamored with the idea, at least. Ah, where the... <clears throat> Losing my mind. That is what I'd be doing. Trying to find Judith. And I have no idea where she is. Ah. Oh? Are you going to look for that Qmore guy by any chance? Nah, just going on a walk. Where were you? Just out for a walk like you. Oh, really? What you said to Estelle earlier hasn't been gnawing at you, has it? What I said earlier? Didn't you say some pretty harsh things to Estelle? Oh, right. Sorry to beat you to the punch like that. <laughs> what? You didn't beat me to the punch on anything. You were going to tell her the same thing that I did, weren't you? What? You figured it out? You don't have to apologize for something like that. All right. So weren't you going off to look for Qmore after feeling bad about hurting Estelle with what you said? No, I wasn't. <laughs> you don't believe me? No, I don't. You care for other people's feelings a lot more than you let on, I think. Very, very true. No, not at all. Uh-huh. Well, whatever. What about you? Aren't you going out to look for him? I told you already, I'm just going for a walk. Oh, you two, stop it. Jesus. Me? Do you think I'm actually concerned about you? <laughs> okay. Oh, where are you going? Then They'll get worried if they find you wandering about. I mean, you got a fair point. But... Okay, I think I conversed with everyone I'm supposed to converse with. Guess it's time for a nappy nap. The question is, will I actually be able to sleep now or not? Okay, alright, I guess not. Or... 
Maybe I just need to talk to the innkeeper again. That'd be silly. In the twos. Welcome back. Would you like to rest? Yes. Let's rest. <sighs> Rather obtuse, but hey. Ready to go? What should we do about Rita? That one has her own matters to attend to. Mm -hmm. That sounds about right. So, first to the harbor and then find a boat? I guess she's huh? tagging along now. You mean... Are you coming too? Yeah. Wasn't there something you had to go do? You were going to investigate the air crane, weren't you? It turns out the one at Cave Mock the Commandant asked me to look into has already been researched. Really? I hadn't really made up my mind about which route to take to research the others. So you'll be using us to help with your investigations? Well, there's no guarantee I won't run into trouble like back at Heliord. Anyway, it'll be safer for me this way than going alone. You just wanted to tag along with us, didn't you? Nice to see your glowing personality hasn't changed. <laughs> this means we'll be able to travel together again. I'm so happy. Oh boy. Yeah, I, um, you know, it's no big deal. <laughs> She's enamored with her enthusiasm. <laughs> All right. Anyway, we were going to the harbor, right? Oh, yeah. Uh, to be young again, I tell you. Shut up, Raven. You got something you want to say? Whoa, down, girl. Don't tell her down. that. <laughs> she will absolutely kill you with that. All right, there we go. And we're good. To the harbor. Guess we see if that uh, train is finally... Train? Ferry. There we go. That's the word. Well? Immediate oh, cuts. Yoder! Well, hello. Oh, it's you all. We meet again. I guess we do. So what's a successor to the Imperial Throne doing in a place like this? Good question. Who is this putz? I've been working with the Dawn to officially seal our treaty of friendship. Well, that's nice. Is it going well? Well, I wish I could say it were going better. Well, I mean, there's, there's a lot of things that are going wrong. So, I mean, can't really blame you for any of it. I can imagine. That Heracles monstrosity kind of made the Union really not like the Empire. Yes, and now prominent members of the Empire are voicing their doubts regarding the Friendship Treaty. The conditions the Don gave the Empire were for a treaty of equality, after all. True. And they are certainly not on equal footing with something like that. Very true. Yes, had I known about Heracles beforehand, I could have stopped them, but... Oh, so he didn't even know. You didn't know about that thing? You're in line to be Emperor. I know, but I have no authority over the Imperial Knights. Ah. The Imperial Knights act on orders from the Emperor alone. They do not report to anyone else. Interesting. Well then, it's easy. Just become Emperor. <laughs> you mean... Becoming Emperor isn't as simple as that. Well, I mean, why not? Why not? Thank you, Rita. Thank you for being the voice of reason. To ascend to the throne, one must possess the Imperial treasure, De Nomos. Uh, so, a superfluous treasure that is needed to be possessed to ascend to the throne. And we're just now hearing about it? But Dane Nomos went missing around the time of the Great War, ten years ago. Okay. Huh. So that's the real story why we still don't have an Emperor. And that's why Rago wanted to get his hands on Dane Nomos. Okay. What was that, Yuri? Forget it. It's nothing. Anyway, is it really okay for an Imperial candidate to be wandering the streets like this? I was just on my way to Heliord. Huh. That is closer to Dongress than this place is. Negotiations would probably go smoother there. I believe so, too. Okay, well... Master Yoder, we should be off. If you'll please excuse me. 
Okay. Bye bye, Yoder. And the putts that's traveling with him. Okay. Estelle's thinking about that treasure, maybe? Getting her hands on it herself, possibly, perhaps? Okay. Alright, well, still a problem there. Against that many? You've got to be crazy! Huh? I wouldn't do that even if I had nine lives. Huh? What's going on? That's a good question. Oh, hey, it's a redhead! If you won't do the work I've paid you for, then I want my money back. Hey, it's Kaufman. Not, not, not. Okay, I'm gonna stop. Add the indigo beasts to the blacklisted guilds. Whoa. Blacklisted. Yes, Madam President. Jesus. Blacklisted. Isn't that the woman we met at Dayton Hold? Yes, it is. Seems she managed to get through that after all. Yeah, that's her, all right. Well, why do you guys know her? We just met her once a while back. Is she a friend of yours? I wouldn't say I know her. She's the president of Fortune's Market, one of the five master guilds. Oh, yeah. That's right. In other words, she's one of the top dogs at the Union. Well, <laughs> getting on her good side would probably be a good idea. Hey, I just got an idea! Don't tell me you got the same idea I just did. What's up, Carol? Maybe she could get a boat for us to take across to Desier. Oh. Well, I mean, that's possible, too. And it's definitely something to ask her. Question is... Oh, there she is, right there. Hello, Kaufman. How we doing? Well, if it isn't Mr. Yuri Lowell, you've come at just the right time. Did I? Huh, I guess those wanted posters really do work. Listen, I've got a job that would be just perfect for you. Oh, do you now? Hard labor, huh? I like a man who can cut to the chase. Well, I definitely do that. As you may have heard, schools of mermen often attack cargo ships at this time of year. I'm sorry, schools of what? Schools of huh? Alright. Okay. Alright. Alright. We'll play along. Schools of mermen attack cargo ships at this time of year. Okay. Huh? But I thought there was another guild that always served as your escort. It seems the leader of the mercenary guild I hire passed away suddenly, so they aren't available. What's that? Possibly the Blood Alliance by any chance? The other Guardian Guild simply has no backbone. I don't know what to do. Because if it was the Blood Alliance, that might be our fault. I'm sorry. <laughs> what was the name of that Guardian Guild you mentioned? The Blood Alliance. Fuck! 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 That's all our fault. <laughs> That's all our fault. God damn it. God damn it. Uh, Doug Dimadam, owner of the Dimsdale Dimadam. Okay. Alright, so at this point we have a moral obligation to do it. Okay. Gee, I wonder what could have happened to them. Shut up, Rita. Don't you start. You're all as guilty as I am. Exactly. I hate to disappoint you, but we're in the middle of something right now, so see you around. Wow, you're running away from this once you realize you're at fault. Wow. Wait, Yuri, what about the boat? Hmm? Did you say boat? <sighs> Thanks, Carol, for literally blowing everything up. We've made a guild of our own. We're called Brave Vesperia! That's a wonderful name. Well then, shall we talk business? I guess we shall. Mutual gain is one of the basics of all business, you know. You scratch my back, I'll scratch yours. I know how business works. I'm a manager. 
<laughs> Very lowly manager, but a manager nonetheless. I know how it works. Sorry, but like I said, we're in the middle of a job. We can't take on anything else right now. Why not? We won't call it business then. Let's just say we'll cooperate as two guilds helping each other out. Damn it, she's wily. Damn it, she's wily. Why'd she also have to be hot? Damn it! It's my worst weakness. <laughs> wily and hot. God fuck. Okay. That way we won't be going against any guild principles. Okay, fine. There are various incentives for getting along with me, you know. Not, 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 not. Okay, I gotta stop. <laughs> I gotta stop. Uh, but it's too easy to make the joke. Okay. Right. Um, well... Um, well... Alright, we can talk, but we need to go to Nordopolica. We can't afford any detours. Fine with me. The mermen are only a problem in the waters near here. As long as I get to another port, I'm good. All Once right. we arrive, I won't have any trouble making arrangements with another ship. Wow, she means business. Literally. Carol, as far as I'm concerned, after that joke, you deserve the entire trip in the brig. But that's not what we're allowed to do to the leader of the guild, so I guess we have to live with it. So, do we have a deal? Yeah, we have a deal. Why do you have to be hot? I have the sinking feeling we just got tricked into something. Yeah, we got tricked into something. And why did you have to bring up the word sinking? We're getting onto a ship, Rita. Did you really have to jinx it? Fortune's Market isn't known as the best group of salesmen under the sun for nothing. Yeah, that's fair. This isn't so bad. Now we have a way to cross over to Desire. Yeah. I'll even throw in a bonus for all of you. Ooh. Bonus? What do you mean? If we arrive safely in Nordopolica, I'll give you the boat we use to get there. Okay. All right. Really? The boat looks pretty beat up, but it's still a good deal. It is a good right? deal. <laughs> so these mermen right? must be pretty tough customers if you're willing to part with a boat. Yeah. I'll leave that to your imagination. I'm not sure I want to. <laughs> they look at each other. I figured as much. Yeah. Marvelous. We have a contract then. Now that we've settled the details, I'd like you to get to work right away. Of Just course. let me know when you've made your preparations. Okay. Well, in that case, now I have to make preparations. <sighs> oh, damn it, damn it, owner of the dim's tail, damn it, damn. Fuck. And of course, the shop's up there. I could have just taken the other way, but no, I'm too stupid. <laughs> okay. You come to the only store in Torum. Well, I'm aware of that. Okay, melange gel. While tempting, I really, really shouldn't. Okay. All of these are very old. A uh, longsword, rapier, surugi. Okay. Okay, um, that's equal to what he currently is wielding, and he's also learning off of this one, so, okay, that's fine. Okay, Ogre Sword. Oh! Oh! Man, I need Merman Fangs, which I will get with this mission. Probably, considering we're going up against Merman. I mean... It is a significant upgrade. Link Slash and Fatal Finish. Well, I mean... As long as I can still make that, I don't see why not. Okay, well. Hmm. 
Mm. All right. Well, I think. <laughs> uh, I can't believe safety helm would work for both Carol and <laughs> Raven. I find that funny. Alright, um, battle suit. Still need one of those for Carol. Holy cloak. Okay. Re rebirth doll. Rebirth doll. A statue symbolizing sacrifice. Okay. Well, that's weird, but okay. Mood selector. Change the controlled character during battle. Ah. Uh... Some of these do things. Increases speed for those in a hurry. Special flag. Special flag R. Flag that allows Rapide to lead the party. It really won't give you an extra life. And okay. Alright. But are definitely a pain to wear in battle. I. I <laughs> okay, well, you can't just present me with a stylish and elegant black hat and not expect me to want to make it. I mean, come on now. Cure plaster. <laughs> you mean a band-aid? Alright, okay. Mystic gem. It won't make you popular or change your life, though. Well, I mean, depends on which game you're playing. Okay, well, I think I'm as equipped as I'm going to be. Hunger is the best so spice. Hungry. I'm dying here. Already? The girls look like they're doing fine. Oh. Was that Estelle? Listen, her stomach's rumbling too. I can wait, though it's been a little difficult. Mm hmm? That sounded like it came from Rita. Judy, you too? Are you trying to see who can hold out the longest? Perhaps a diet is a little bit like a competition in holding out. <laughs> a diet? What do you need a diet for? Especially you, Rita. Lose any more weight and you'll... I'm just waiting until I finish reading this book, okay? <laughs> right. Okay. Well, that was a bit, I guess. All right. Well, I guess I don't have any choice in the matter. Okay. Well, time to go. Are you ready? I guess I am. It's also near the end of the episode, so I wonder if I get a chance to save before the shenanigans start. This is an interesting ship design. This is the Fiertia. She'll be Fiertia. your ship as soon as you've escorted her to Nordopolica. And gotcha. this man is Tokunaga of Gull's Song, a maritime guild affiliated with Fortune's Market. I'm Tokunaga. Very nice to meet you. He's only on board for this voyage, so next time be sure to hire your own pilot. Fair enough. Also, what's with the hairdo, bruh? We're not in a hurry, but these are important negotiations, so I really appreciate the help. What is the ship's cargo? Is that even a hairdo? Is that a hat? In that case, what's with the hat, bruh? You look like you're carrying an acorn cap on your head. The fuck, dude? Okay, what's the ship's cargo? Okay. That's confidential information. Of course it is. It's nothing we should be worried about, is it? Relax. We've got it covered. That doesn't make me want to relax. All right. Head towards Nordopolica. Go directly southwest from Torum Harbor and you'll see the Desier Continent. Nordopolica is at the eastern edge. Okay. I hope you won't mind if I go over the Fiertia's controls for you. Oh! You can only disembark from the ship where you see a dock, a port, or a beach. You won't be able to get onto land where there are cliffs. Of course, okay. the ship can't pass over rocks, 
but you'll also have to keep her out of the shallows around islands. You might be able to take her into some rivers, if they're deep enough. However, if there's a bridge spanning the river, you won't be able to take her under. We wouldn't want to clip off our mast. You have two. But I mean, fair point. Oh! Boy, oh boy. It's a whole thing. Start skit, pause, forward, backward. Oh, so I have the triggers to go forward and backwards. Okay. A to perform action, toggle navigational map, bring up main menu. Rotate the camera towards north by pressing down on right stick. Control the camera with right stick and move with L. Okay. And that's about it. Okay. So we actually control the whole thing. I, well, I can't do it right now, obviously. We just started out and we're already working with one of the five master guilds. This is good. Yeah, you're one step closer to making your dream a reality, Carol. Aren't you happy? You talking to the kid? He's over there mumbling about something. Merman. The first thing had to be Merman. Brave Vesperia has some bad luck. Why do you say that? What's the President of Fortune's Market gonna think of us if we fail? Would you stop this it? This is bad. This is so bad. Okay, I don't Carol. Think he's very happy. He's just being careful, that's all. That's not careful. being careful. That's running and hiding. You got a point. Carol, I swear, I... <sighs> well, at least this is on the out map menu so I can actually save so I don't need to worry about that part alrighty so I now have a ship that I can control and apparently it will be officially mine once I get more or less done and over with on this mission just need to head to uh, Nordopolica after we reach the Desier continent Okay, I'm hoping I will be able to keep that all straight. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. And click the like button if you like this particular video. Share and comment so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one and only Stray Cat. Playing games and more or less just trying to get us forward momentum. And seems like we have. Now we have our own ship to head towards where we need to go. And once we complete this mission for Fortune's Market, we will have it permanently. Question is how we're going to make that work, among all the other things we're supposed to be doing. Boy, there's a lot of mechanics that are going on that I'm just going to end up going cross-eyed trying to remember all at once. But we at least have momentum going forward for you.